I have been throwing myself headfirst into Legion's Imperialis, the game that allows you to throw an entire army into battle in an epic scale conflict. I decided to build up a Blood Angels assault force and take them to my first ever Warhammer event, Greetings from the Warp. It's been a busy few weeks and as you'll see, it's been far from plain sailing. So let me catch you up. Today is a hobby day. So let's go get started with Walk in the Dark. Yes. While Otty gets a bit of a run around and I prepare myself for the task ahead, I thought this would be just like any other day. I'm blissfully unaware of what's coming next, just like Otty when it comes time for a bath. So back from Dog Walk, Dog is clean and it's time for me to get my hands dirty. Um, we're going to be jumping into the painting for this weekend. Three main stages, I think. First off is Terminators. They've got all their base colors that need doing, uh, a bit of an Agrax Earthshade wash, uh, and then a few finishing details. We have the Thunderhawks, which need dry brushing over with various colors, as well as blocking in some of the metals and stuff like that. Um, and then they'll also need kind of drilling out the bottom of the bases so that those can fit on. Um, and then we've got the Xiphons, which will need a sort of similar treatment, though they won't need any drilling out on the bottoms because they're legit Games Workshop models. Let's get some colour on the Terminators, Agrax Earthshade to bring out all the tiny details, and then some Retributor armour for the trim. We've got some teeny tiny titans that need to be finished. These are sort of halfway complete. Um, so we'll see if we get to those today. If not, they'll probably be painted up on Tuesday's live stream. As you can see, I had the whole weekend blocked out for painting, nice and pre-prepared. However, I didn't actually get much painted after the initial Saturday morning session, because this is me on Sunday morning. Unexpectedly had to go for an emergency dentist appointment today. So got a lovely lopsided smile. <laughs> Hopefully uh, we'll be able to get back on track ASAP. Here's dog. Her teeth are fine. Yep, one tooth extraction and some strong painkillers later, I was back at home resting up. Now I did manage to get some hobbying done off camera like the windows on the planes and then I also painted up some of the Terminators in the Tuesday live stream. But there was a hell of a lot still left to do and greetings from the warp was rapidly approaching. All right, here's where we're at. So it's Thursday night. We're heading off to greetings from the warp tomorrow after work uh, and we are sitting with three unpainted Xiphons. We've got all of our Thunderhawks, good and ready. They look great all lined up together. And then we've got the two Titans to finish off. So it's gonna be a pretty intense uh, evening today, but uh, I'm looking forward to kind of getting these guys finished and uh, packing everything up ready to go tomorrow. All my plans were a little up in the air, but I managed to get some layers slapped down on the Titans. And at midnight on Thursday, everything was finally ready. I honestly can't believe that I managed to get this done in time for the weekend. So everything was painted and I was ready to go. Be sure to subscribe and click like if you have been enjoying the video so far. For now, times are wasting, so let's get off to greetings from the warp with just a couple of parting words of wisdom from Megs. Right, I'd, I'd like a piece of advice for my tournament please mix. Uh, don't be shit. Noted. And now just a quick hop on the international train out of London to the Midlands. So we're here, my little slice of paradise for the weekend. Work hard, play harder. Yeah, thanks Airbnb. Um, yeah, up nice and bright and breezy for some heresy Legion Imperialis tomorrow. The event itself was taking place in a college near to the Airbnb and the sports halls were full of amazing heresy armies and boards. More on that later, but for now it's over to game number one, which was up against Solar Auxilia, supported by a Warlord Titan. So a quick rundown of the list. It's an aerial assault detachment of assault marines, terminators and various other bits, all riding in Thunderhawks, supported by Xiphon interceptors and those two towering Warhound Titans. Game plan was simple rush the enemy, claim strategic objectives, and fight tooth and nail to hold them at all costs. It started out well with my infantry charging out of the Thunderhawks and making a nuisance of the auxilia tank line. And while we lost some casualties... First blood goes to the bombers who managed to take out some of my Terminators who in retaliation charged into this bunch of infantry. It was now time for every Blood Angel's favorite phase, combat. 
My Terminators had much better close combat skills than my opponent, so so long as I didn't roll horribly, I was going to be in a really advantageous position. Unfortunately, first combat, snake eyes. Okay, no. this is actually absurd. That's two double ones in a row. Like. We did manage to right the ship, inflicting some major damage with the Terminators, and then the Xiphons came in for their first pass, peppering the Warlord Titan with their missiles and las cannons. With the explosion of the Warlord Titan, it can take out units around it, and every single one of these has been destroyed. With the Warlord down, in spite of some heroic bombing runs from the Solar Auxilia, just managed to. <laughs> the Blood Angels managed to come away with the victory. As a final flourish, my Warhound fired his Ursus Claw, a kind of giant grappling hook, at a passing Marauder bomber, managing to hit it on a six and then take it down and smash it into the ground in just the coolest moment probably of the whole weekend. On to game number two. This was played on this amazing city fight board from a friend of the channel, Alex aka Twisted Prince. You can find a link to his stuff in the description down below. And we were up against traitorous word bearers and sons of Horus, who effectively garrisoned the central buildings. I hadn't done much garrisoning myself so far, because I hadn't needed to, and was mostly interested in charging, um, but it turned out to be a really powerful strategy. The sheer amount of anti-air fire from Derideo Dreadnoughts and Sicarans meant my Thunderhawks were no match. After my commander was gunned down in the canal at the centre of the table, and my titans got melter bombed to death by assault marines, game two ended in a pretty convincing loss. With game two in the books, I got some time to wander around and check out all the amazingly painted heresy armies, as well as the other Legion's Imperialis armies on display. As a 9th Legion boy through and through, I especially loved this Blood Angels force, which was absolutely gorgeous. We've got a long way to go on our collection on the channel. There was even a room where the Titan Owners Club had set out their full-scale Titans to play a game of Adeptus Titanicus. Here's an ollie for scale. And if that's not big enough, there was even a 28mm scale Imperator Titan just chilling out in the main sports hall, which is amazing. This guy had built it all entirely from scratch out of foam. Just amazing amounts of work there. After all that excitement, it was time for a bit of rest in preparation for the Sunday. My first game of Sunday took place on a sort of forest board, very reminiscent of a sort of indoor style planet. Um, and it was probably my favorite, most cinematic battle that we had over the weekend. This was against some airborne solar auxilia, with my Thunderhawk skimming through the trees and a daring charge from my assault marines into the opposing Warbringer Titan. Unfortunately, I got absolutely annihilated by the weight of numbers from the solar auxilia infantry. Still a super fun game though. So, coming into the final game of the weekend, I had a record of one win and two losses. I was looking to gain back some honour for the 9th Legion and for the Imperium at large, so I needed a win in game number four. Yet more Solar Auxilia stood in my way, but this was much more of a tank line similar to the army I'd faced in game number one, so I fancied my chances of getting a win. Having learned the power of garrisoning from game two, I got my Thunderhawks up the table and unloaded most of my army into buildings near the objectives, while attacking the enemy garrisons with my Assault Marines and Terminators. Controlling the pace of play with my Thunderhawks blasting enemy tanks and my Xiphons neutralizing enemy air defense, I quickly took control of the table and secured a win for my last game of the weekend. So, two wins two losses, some amazing armies, and a real bug to play more Legions Imperialis. I had such a good time at Greetings from the Warp. Massive thanks to the organizers for putting it on because it was just such an amazing time. And um, I'll definitely be going back to more of their events in the future. Have you gotten your Legion's forces on the table yet? And if they're still in the works, what Legion are you painting them up as? Will you be fighting for the War Master or the Emperor? Let me know in the comments down below. And in the meantime, my name has been Ollie. This has been my hobby, and I'll see you next time.